What's up, guys? Welcome to back to another episode of I Fish a Lie. Uh, my name's Matt. Um, today we're gonna be making a fishing hand line like uh, this one right here, except a little bit different because the materials I have today are different. Um, first thing you're gonna be needing is wood for the handle, and next is uh, the line. You want to use like light monofilament or fluorocarbon line. I wouldn't use braid for this but definitely you want to use lighter pound test for this it just makes casting easier and you're not really going to be catching big fish on it anyway and the last uh, component of the setup is the pan fish jig you could use other things too like you could use like a bear hook and a split shot or something like that but I like to use crappie jigs or pan fish jigs and this is what I'm um, going to be using today it's just a little like minnow imitation with a curly tail and then right, that's all for the materials it's pretty simple and then um for the uh for the tools you're gonna need pliers to cut the line which is typical um fishing pliers and then you're gonna need a saw to cut the wood down to size however uh big you want it um i'll show what size i i like to use for these then you need a drill to drill a hole to tie the line to. Alright, now I'm going to get to uh, the first step, which is going to be cutting the uh, handle down to size. Once uh, you're making the hand line for yourself, you can um, customize it to however you want and like a good fit for you. So, everybody's hands different sizes. So, you're going to want, um, you're going to want to cut it at a spot where you're, the, it's big enough to like have your whole hand on the hand line but then there's also enough room w for the uh, line to wrap around it and you can put a, like, a good amount of line on so that's where I'm going to cut it, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off camera and then I'm also going to do the uh, drilling off camera but you're going to want to drill a hole like right about there from the top um, and the hole just has to be big enough to uh, fit a uh, fishing line through, it doesn't uh, really matter the size. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. I have a size and uh, drilled the hole in it. Um, now the next step is to attach the line to the handle. So what you're going to do is just basically tie whatever knot you like to use for um, just tying fishing line to, like, to a lure. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use the improved clinch knot because that's just what I do whenever I um, tie a uh, oars on with mono. And it doesn't need to be perfect because I'm probably not going to get all the way down to the the end of the spool anyway and then um, just cut the tag end with your pliers these pliers are kind of rusted out I got some new cast cane pliers on the way they're pretty nice and then after this what you're going to do is just wrap it on Alright, that's probably a good amount, and then you're just gonna clip it and the final step is to tie on your hook or handfish jig. Clip the tag end, and that wasn't my best knot. I would probably retie it before I 
fish with it, but I'm just gonna next I'm gonna show you how to cast this and then um I'll talk about like when I've used it and what I've caught with it. Alright, so my favorite way to cast this is first you let a bunch of line out. Um that good amount of line out depending on how far you want to cast it and then you hold you like bunch up all the line in your left hand or if you're righty in your right uh, yeah if you're lefty in your right hand and then you take the lower with like a decent amount of line put it in your right hand and you just swing it like this and let go and you can get some pretty good casting distance on it and then um, you just like kind of pull it in like this and I've caught a ton of fish like that I'll, I'll show you guys some fish that I've caught on it in a second about like when I use this hand line and like what type of fish I use it for so the main type of fish I use it for is panfish and um, what I really use it for is to catch different species that I've never caught before in places that I can't bring a full rod. So for example when I was on vacation at Acadia National Park in uh, Maine I um, I brought this hand line right here which I um, I decorated actually I drew some different fish species on that I wanted to catch on it and one of them was the red breast sunfish so that's a drawing of it right there at when I was on when I was going on hikes and stuff, I would just put this in my pocket. And if we came across a lake, I would um, ask uh, my family to just take a break, and I would take a few casts with this and see what I could do. And I managed to actually catch a new species on it, and um, that was the red breast sunfish, which I drew on this because I knew that there's a chance for me to catch them. And I actually caught a bunch on it, and I'll put a picture. Another uh, time that I use this hand line when it comes in uh, really handy is if I'm going on camping trips and I can't, like backpacking and I don't want to bring my full on fishing pole, I'll uh, just stick this in my pack and if we're at a lake I'll take some casts. And I've actually caught a decent amount of fish on the hand line and it's actually fairly easy to use and it's really easy to make so I think you guys should give it a go and maybe it'll catch you guys a new species like you did for me. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Still trying to get to 500 so I make a pocket sized uh, fishing hand line. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe and help me reach my goal of 500 um, subscribers by the end of January. It would really really mean a lot to me. Thank you guys for watching.